Okay, today we are learning trigonometry 3 and under that trigonometry 3 <coughs> we will uh, we have already done the introduction part of it about the ratios the three ratios we want to go straight to waves under waves we will do amplitude and period we will see amplitude and period so for example I just draw y is equal to sine of theta of sine x the period the amplitude will show the maximum displacement of the wave either above the x-axis or below the x-axis. That is the maximum displacement of a wave either in either above Amplitude that much or amplitude. For example, the amplitude here is one. Here it also it goes up to minus one, so it is still one. That is um, a simple wave. So you can still draw a more complicated one or a, a bit advanced where we increase the amplitude and draw a wave of y is equal to 2 sine x. If we draw it on the same, assuming that was 1, that is 2. So the amplitude has gone to 2. So that is as drawing the amplitude now the period. The period can be found by the time you see the wave, if it is started low here, it has gone up, come to zero, gone up, gone down to the other direction and come to zero and it is repeating the process. That's when we say that is the period of that wave. For example, this is 90, 180, 270, 360. The, um, the, the period of the two waves are the same. It's just 360 degrees. Because it starts from zero, rises, comes to zero, rises in the other direction, and comes to rest at zero again. So it will start like that. So it is repeating the process at that point. So period is 360. So we can also move and see what we call transformation of waves. So when we want to get a wave, it can be the same wave, but the amplitude is different. And if the periods are different, then you transform it into a different one. For example, if, if we want to get a different amplitude, for example, this is the first one, cos x. Then we have y is equal to 3, cos x is already transforming the amplitude of that wave. We have transformed the amplitude. You can also transform the, the, the period, which you will see in another form. So if we sketch the two curves,
you find that uh, the first one will start from, for example, 90, 180, 270, 360, 450, 540 degrees, and so on, 720. Then draw. That is for sine wave, y is cos x, then we can transform that one to 3. That means the amplitude is 3. So if we, now for example, when it is 0, 0, 0 cos 0 is 1 times 3. So it starts from there. Cos of 90 is supposed to be 0 times 3 is 0, so it will also calm down. When this 180 is negative 1 times 3, so it goes down also. So it is going to, to be transformed. When it goes to 270, it is zero. So it will just pass through there. Mm, for example, when it is 360, it is one, it also goes up. So it is uh, the transformation of the, it is only the amplitude which has transformed. It will continue like that, then we find that we have transformed the amplitude only. Let's see how we can transform period. Then give an example, for example, y is equal to sine x and y is equal to sine a half x half x so you can make a table for this one for the other the other one x y all the way to maybe 720 or it depends on where you are given. If you are told to make it up to maybe for x, greater than from 0 to, let's say, 720. Let's put 1 here so that there is a big difference. So you can, you can have a table Find, then you will now draw the curve. You draw the waves on the same grid. Then mark ninety. all the way to 720 degrees. Then draw the curve. You will realize that the, the, this one, the amplitude will shift and then the period will also shift. So just give you that one. You just draw it for your own practice. You will find that the period, period shifts Amplitude is transformed. The period is also.
transform it. So we say the period is when it, the graph starts at a certain point and then repeats itself, starts repeating itself at that point. Then you say the, you have got the period of that graph. And from the graph you can you can write a certain general formula of y is equals to a sine b x for example like that then this one will give you the amplitude then the period will be equal to 360 divided by b, the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x. So we will give you the... For example, in our case, if it was... Uh, if the graph is y is equal to 2 sine a half x, then here, the amplitude is 2, the period is 360 divided by a half, which will give you 720 degrees. That is the period. This is the general formula, and the first, the coefficient of sine gives the amplitude. Then the period 360 divided by the coefficient of any x vector. So for example here, 360 times 2 over 1, 720 degrees. So the period. Then if the graph can have more values, for example, y is equals to, for example, 2 or a, sine bx plus theta. There is another angle which has been added there. Then the same way this is amplitude. So period is 360 over b. Then theta is called the face angle. So if you are given an equation, you can yes give all those values. I think that is all about that section. Then the next section is trigonometric solving trigonometric equations.